Good morning, everyone. Um, today I will briefly explain my research interest to you, which is uh, time geography. So, what is time geography? Time geography maps individual activities in space and time. This man, Thurston Heberstrom, found the time geography concept in 1960s by introducing his seminar paper, What About People in Regional Science? Um, time geography concept aims to get enhanced understanding larger scale urban phenomena by focusing on individuals, as we can notice from the title, What About People? So to achieve this purpose, time geography keeps track of individuals' movements in space and time when they participate in their activities. There are two key concepts in time geography. First one is space-time path, which traces the movement of an individual in space and time. And the movement occurs when someone participates in activities. There are two types of activities. First one is fixed home or work. And there are also flexible activities such as shopping or recreations, something like that. So from the right picture, we can see an example of space-time paths. A person uh, goes to work from home in the morning, and after working, going to shopping, and then coming back to home in the night. And the second key concept is space-time prism. Space-time prism is the set of locations can be reached by individuals within given space and time constraints. This means accessibility to environment. So here are some examples of space-time prisons. We should, we should choose our jobs that lie within our space-time prisons. And also, we can understand our social interaction potential by using this space-time prison concept. So when and where can we have a copy together? So let's say this is a person A's space-time prison, and this one is person B's space-time prison. And this part is the intersection of two persons' space-time prisons. Only they can meet in the intersection part. So, and also we can apply this time geography especially space and prism concept on animal movement, the movements of two tigers overlapping space and time can be answered by the time geography concept. But there are some limitations. Classic time geography considers only one or two activity locations, which is not true. We have many activity locations in our daily lives. And classic time geography considers single transit mode use only car. Also not true. We use various transports such as walking, biking, or bus, even subway in our travels. So I want to study space-time prisons for complex, multi-stops, multi-modal travel within urban areas. I would like to end my presentation with this slide. So why time geography is important? Time geography integrates space and time this enables better understanding spatial temporal processes and interactions in social and ecological. In these days, developments in GPS and location based services uh, give us GPS tracking data and cell phone tracking data. This can give us some insights in individuals' travel trajectories. So, the left picture is a person's space-time pass estimated by cell phone tracking data. And right picture is two tigers' travel trajectories and their home range based upon their travel trajectories. So time geography is relevant to many applications, such as transportation and urban planning, ecology, public health, and also social networks. This is my presentation, and thank you for your attention.